Hello, I'm Ann Selmy from Cal State Dominguez Hills, and I'm here with Jenny Chiappi from Cal State Dominguez Hills and Adrian Dillinger from Vital Research in Los Angeles. We're here to share our findings in the family group conferencing research that we have done um, over the past year. And uh, to give you an overview of this, uh, family group conferencing occurred with um, our early childhood special ed children and early childhood children. It, we did our study during COVID, so everything was done through distance learning. We had 12 teachers uh, from six inclusive classrooms, six early childhood and six uh, early childhood special ed teachers, and they were trained to work with um, parents to increase the school family partnerships that they had. Um, all of the teachers were females, 50% were Latina, 42% black and 8% white. The parents who participated in the study or the caregivers um, were all of preschool students who either had disabilities or did not have disabilities and were enrolled in under-resourced school. 82% uh, of the parents and caregivers were identified as females and 92% were identified as Latino or Hispanic um, members. Next, uh, Adrian Dellinger from um, Vital Research is going to go over our process. Thanks, Anne. Um, first, I'm going to focus on the timeline at the bottom of the poster presentation. All teachers received 12 hours of training in the 2020-21 school semester. They attended three family group conference meetings with parents, and you'll see there in the timeline. Um, and really, the activities here were to kind of share data on end of year goals. Um, every family received individual reports on their child's progress. And also the teacher shared activities for these caregivers to complete at home. So you'll see here we did multiple measures along the way. We did teacher pre-surveys and teacher post-surveys at the beginning and at the end. And then we also did three uh, surveys with parents, a pre-survey before their first parent-teacher group meeting, uh, one at the midpoint after the Christmas break, and then we did another one at the end of their participation in the project. And you'll see here in the middle box. Um, so all of this data was collected online um, and the uh, teachers observed improved relationships between families and the partner teachers. And there were also higher uh, student outcomes of their, that they perceived. Um, after the family group conferences, teachers reported knowing more about the culture and values of the families. They increased to 92%. And families also reported using these different strategies that they learned from the teachers at home, um, both with their child who was in the classroom and also their other children in the home. Um, teachers reported that family group conferencing helped them to really empower parents or the family members in promoting student academic growth overall. And next is Jenny to talk a little bit more about the takeaways. Thank you, Adrian. Um, so family group conferencing positively impacted the relationships between the early childhood um, teachers, as well as the early childhood special education teachers at each school. Um, their relationships improved as well as um, the collaboration. So they really understood each other's roles a little bit better. Um, family group conferencing also reimagines the traditional parent-teacher conference, um, and it really involves parents throughout the school year so that they can work on target goals and skills at home. Family group conferencing also provided um, teachers opportunity to engage in equitable practices and work alongside families, especially during distance learning. And all the participants, families, and teachers agreed that family group conferencing likely benefited all students with and without disabilities. Um, thank you so much for attending our um, presentation. If you have any questions, um, you can contact Dr. Ann Selmy. Um, her email is here at aselmy at csudh.edu. Um, she's the principal investigator of the Select LA grant. It's an OSEP grant funding early childhood special education inclusion teachers in the Los Angeles area. Thank you so much.